Hello everybody. Today it's a chilly day out there. It's our first chilly day and the first day to make a little soup. Now, I don't know what soup I'm going to make, but I will find out. First I have to go through my pantry, see what may be in the pantry for soup, and then I go through my refrigerator to see what's in my refrigerator. Now, when I go, as I go through my pantry, that would be very boring for everybody. So after I get something, we'll, we'll get back to you. Okay, I went through my pantry. I found a bag of beans. This is assorted beans. I don't know. It looks like there's a hundred different beans in here. And but we have to, but technically, you know, but you have to do something with them so that they they're ready to cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a shortcut. Now, generally, people soak them soak the beans overnight. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do now is what's called a quick soak method, which I've always used. You know, when you're working in the kitchen, you don't always have time to do this, do that, like they say, you got to take shortcuts. And this is a great shortcut. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to rinse the beans. Now I'm going to add them to hot water. Now I'm going to bring the water to a boil. And I'm going to let it boil for a couple of minutes. Everybody, all right, everybody back. Look, it's been boiling for a minute. Now we're going to take it off the fire, shut the fire to, and let it sit for an hour or so. Okay. Okay, we're ready for the next step. We're going to drain the beans and put them into hot consomme. And then we're going to cook the beans for an hour, check it out, see how, how well they're cooked. If they're cooked well, we'll add the vegetables. If they need more time, we'll wait. Beans, it looks like there's a third more beans. It's not. Third more beans, just that they swelled a little bit from the water. Now we're going to put them in here, and we're going to cook them about an hour, let them simmer around for an hour, and we'll see there we go the cupboard was kind of bare so is the refrigerator bare kind of limited and this is what we had now like the brunch sick chick said they look a little sick we'll clean them up liven them up and then put them in to the soup right, we've begun to get to add our vegetables the carrots are in there the celery is going in now all right, I'm going to give it a little bit of a stir. All right. And now we're going to put the onions in. Give it a bit of a stir. I want everybody to see this now. You see the color? It's black. Very dark. But you see we got black beans there. We got dark beans. We got black beans. We got a lot of colored beans here. So, and that's why it's dark. Because we're, gonna, we're ready to add more vegetables, but before I do, it's only, you know, what we're going to add right now are potatoes. But before I do, I want to taste it. Very veggie, but a little salt won't hurt. I didn't put any salt, if you recall. All right. All right, a little pepper. All right, we could always add a little more. Let's give it a stir. Now it smells good. Mmm, it smells delicious. You think we have to fortify it at all? A little no, bit not of from the aroma. Huh? Not from the aroma. You want to? Uh, let me give you a teaspoon, and you can tell us. All right. Camera it says it tastes good the way it is. Okay, so we're not going to add any. We're not going to fortify. And now we're going to add our potatoes. 
let it cook a few minutes. I put it under here so that I don't drip a little bit on the floor. There we go. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna add when nobody's looking, I'm gonna add a little more consomme, maybe a cup. Okay. Okay, the next next vegetable I'm putting in is a zucchini. And we're gonna let it cook about ten minutes and put everything else in. Let me and now I'd like to say something. If you notice I put the vegetables in little by little according to the, the, the length of time it takes for them to cook. I'm going to cook this since I'm doing a vegetable at a time. I'm going to cook this for about six minutes and then I'm going to put everything else in. So what else goes in at the, at the end? Uh, pe peas, tomatoes, scallions. Okay, everything's just about cooked. The zucchini right now is al dente. We want it soft, but it will be soft in 15 minutes. Now we're going to put our tomatoes in. Oh, very colorful. Okay. We're going to put our peas in. Okay. And we're going to put some scallions, which will give us some added taste. Oh, that looks yummy. All right, a little mix, and we're gonna have to add a little consomme, a little broth, maybe two cups. And if you want to really like this, you can have it like this. Now, depends on how how you like it. How do you like it? Like this, or a little bit more broth? Oh, well, it looks good like that right now. But after these vegetables cook. So I'll throw another, I'm going to throw another cup in my house. Yeah. All right. Okay. Are we ready, chef, here? Yeah, I'm going to get myself a bowl of soup right here. Wow. That's some bowl. And look at it down here. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right, now I'm going to get... I'll take in the one old dish or two. All right. That? Very good. That's beautiful. Great job. Thank you.